you guys it is the start of my work week as you can tell i've been home doing nothing well i shouldn't say nothing but anyways it's the start of the work week it is tuesday night it is about 9 45 p.m i chose to pick up an eight hour shift um because my husband had a meeting so i had to be home to be mommy be primary parent so i wanted to start my week off on tuesday night so i can work <clears throat> and sorry i feel a little under the weather like my throat is sore um but anyways i just text the charge nurse and ask if they need me and of course they do i just want to say that i have been tremendously absolutely like thoroughly favored and blessed because since i've been prn i have not been called up to like a significant end where it's like two weeks at a time and i actually work like full-time and part-time hours and i've been getting shifts like left and right i have known some nurses that are like getting called up for two weeks straight but the favor of god is real you guys so i'm grateful that i did get called in even though i have a sore throat get ready to hop in a shower drink some tea and um eat a little snack and then i will be heading out to work i work tonight i work wednesday and thursday if they do not clock me off so all right let's get this week started so if you are new to my channel my name is leah and this channel is simply all about providing motivation clarity and encouragement to all of you all who are in the nursing journey um this channel is for you so if you're looking to become a nurse or just thinking about being a nurse or you currently are a nurse and you just want some encouragement and some motivation and just some clarity about your nursing journey this is a channel for you so subscribe hit the bell for notifications of all upcoming videos and do yourself a favor and follow me on the nurse collective uh, instagram channel and also download my free ebook which basically provides you some tips on how to survive your first two years of nursing um, because for me it was a difficult journey but once you get into the hang of it and the swing of where you're supposed to be the sky is the limit so let's get into this week and yeah I'm doing a little skincare with my curality this is the Nutrisoft Super Hydrating Serum this is the my face is already like the bumps, the bumps and stuff are already like clearing up. I sound so much better, you guys. Okay, so even though I did get to work at 11, I'm like just now getting up, I'm gonna go like care for my patients. It just takes a while to transition because a nurse it left and then I had to take on her patient. So she already did everything she was trying to finalize and she didn't know she was leaving. So there's kind of like a some time that happens. So some of the patients are like, if you came in at 11, why are you just not coming in? My patients are, they will call you out and make you seem like you're a bad nurse, but that's just the reality of the situation. Then when you get in at like an off time of a shift, nurses have not sometimes completed their assessment. So they need to do that things. They need to do everything, finalize everything so they can give the patients over to you as the incoming nurse. So yeah, um, patients are pretty cool. So I'm just trying to make sure everyone's up to date on their payments, make sure everyone's okay so that I can do my assessment. And then I'm just going to be maintaining um, for the rest of the shift. <laughs> okay, so I finally completed my head to toe assessment on all my patients and actually um, given all meds that need to be given, even though I came in at 11. There were just uh, a couple things just to give. And so I'm charting whenever you come in, whether it's, you know, for four hours or whenever you take on patients, you have to chart a full head to toe assessment. So that's what I'm doing right now. So it's about 2.42 and um, I have finally finished like doing my head to toe assessments, like charting them. I took my time. I think I'm coming out with a cold, but anyways, I'm here. I'm eating lunch. This is lunch today. These are just leftovers that I made the other day. So when I work, because I'm working for the next two nights after this, I try to cook big meals and that's how I plan for my week. And I'm realizing that it just takes a heartache 
of trying to find food and eating fast food, which is not good for you. Um, and it's just been helping. And I'm even like right now, I'm about to start planning for my meal prep for next week because I'm planning on working four days straight. Um, so yeah, um, I don't want to say how this ship is going because I'm scared to okay, go the other way. But um, yeah, I'm trucking it through. It's 2.43 and uh, it's going well. And it's going okay. And it's going okay. Take on patients it is your job to do a full head to toe assessment because you need to assess the patient yourself so it's kind of weird it's kind of weird coming in at 11 and, and patients are like sleep or winding down having to ask questions but you should do that because that lets you know the status of your patient and you get a gist of who they are so that you can adequately um, give a report to the oncoming nurse when your shift is over so that's the only thing about coming in at 11 it's like i'm waking up and all this stuff and they've already been settled by another nurse but that is what happens because there's so many changes that happen in nursing but just make sure that you're actually doing your assessment and then not only that too but when you are charting like for real like i really take my time specifically in the manage orders if you utilize epic wherever you are um working Epic has a manage orders tab and when you are basically looking at the orders for a patient, go through, really fine tooth and see what the doctors um, are telling you what to do for his wound care, how often, what dressings you should use, um, if they're daily weight, um, if they should be bladder scanned, um, things of that sort. Look at your orders and follow them if they're on telemetry. So sometimes I have patients that are physically on telemetry and there's no order, right? And so I'm like, the nurse's lab. So my job is to figure out if this order needs to actually just they forgot to put it on or if this patient in anything in their history or whatever um, requires you to be on telemetry. And so I verify with the doctor like, well, it's physically on, but tell me is there anything indicating that they should be on telemetry? So I do that for the first um, hour or so of my shift is that I go through and I look at all the orders and then when I go in and actually see my patient and I align the patient with whatever the orders has um, has. So that's very, very important as a nurse. Do not take your, do not overlook that. Like, if it's daily weight, get a daily weight. Um, if it's QA vitals, get QA vitals, you know? So, all right. Yeah, that's my So this is breakfast for, uh, what's today? Wednesday morning. I made French toast out of brioche beagles because that's all I had with grapes and one piece of turkey bacon. Good morning. <laughs> no, it's about 3.59. Y'all, I'm still a little sick. <clears> How <throat> cold is coming. Um, so I just woke up and I am being committed to working out. So I think the best time sometimes when I'm extremely tired is to work up immediately when I wake up. Because this is my morning. So I'm getting ready to make like a smoothie and peanut butter toast. And then I'm going to do a workout. And I'm trying to commit to working out five days a week. Just walking um, to get used to it. So... Mm -hmm yeah this is what we're going to do and then i love the fact that my hair is braided so i don't have to rush dinner's already cooked like preparing makes the days go better so anyways i'm getting ready to work out and um yeah so i just made a smoothie i did not record it but anyway sometimes smoothie is a tropical blend of frozen fruit blend <clears throat> i added one date vegan vanilla yogurt orange juice and then I made some homemade protein powder that's basically a blend of chia and flax seeds and it's yummy we good <laughs> Little 
little late. <laughs> but this is bye. My outfit. I have on my fake scrubs with my pants and my Ted hose with my I don't even know what kind of pants these are. But anyway, and then this is my fake jacket. I'm late, you guys. This is my fake jacket. I love it. My mirror is dirty. All right, off to work. I made it. It is 6.45, but I am going to be late. But I finally made it in a car. I don't know. I, just, I think I tried to do too much today. But anyways, I had the same patience as last night. So here we go. Okay, so when you are uh, getting narcotics for a patient, um, in the pictures you have to have a count. So basically you have to count for how much medication is in the pictures because a lot of people are not honest and so it just makes sure that we're not stealing things that we're not supposed to. So we always have to count before you take the narcotics. narcotics. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. Followed up with confusion That was just substitution for a lonely bed So that's impressive How much I'm messing with my feelings in my heart
way to address them and say, you know, um, why are you speaking me, to me in that tone? Please use a respectful tone when you're speaking to me because I really think that there's a culture in some doctors where they have a superiority um, complex and they consider us like sometimes they're slaves or just little puppies and they can just, hey, go fetch, you know? And that's not it. You know, we're with the patient 24 7. We know the patients, but they should respect us and value our position and um, realize that we're a part of their team. Now, a lot of doctors do not act as such. You have to remind them of that, and that is okay. Um, so, I had a situation today dealing with that and reminding me of my role. And it's not as, you know, they are my superior, but I am a part of their team and I am a human being and I do deserve to be respected. So, don't ever allow a doctor to get disrespect you. You're a human being and you have a license just like they do. You're a professional just like they are. You guys, um, this was an okay week. Um, I was charging in tonight. Um, and I'm going to stay this thing. I know a lot of people are probably like, oh my god, it's charging. What's that? But like some people actually want to be charged. But um, for me, charge nurse. It's like you're basically giving up your independence of being just with a certain set. And you actually have not only um, the nurse's patient, but everybody on the floor is your patient. Even the nurses are your patient. There are actually a lot of questions that they already know the answer to. They're coming to you with all kinds of problems. Like you're always go to for just everything. It's venting, troubleshooting. And it can be a lot sometimes. It can be a lot. And so... Kind of the inside scoop of being charged, it just drains me a lot because I feel like I am an introverted person and I sometimes I just don't want to do it. I don't want to be bothered, I don't want to watch your life story, I don't want to talk about your children. And at times I do, but sometimes I just don't want to be bothered. It's nice, I don't want to be quiet. So, anyways, I had a good week and I don't go back until Sunday. <coughs> actually did work last night um but i didn't have much to tell you guys or show you guys because i was precepting but i will have a sit down video to tell you uh what it looks like to precept someone who actually is training to become a nurse but today is monday and i'm actually up i just woke up about an hour or two hours ago and i'm cooking dinner because i will be working for the next uh, uh night after this and so i'm cooking dinner and uh yeah so let's get into the video all right, so I'm making curry chicken. I have all my things chopped up. This is the yellow potatoes, the yellow onions. Um, this is the green pepper or the red onions. Um, and the yeah. is currently browning. So the first step is extra tasty. So here we go. I already made the light brown rice right here. All right, so I added in, I took the chicken out and put it in a container, which is right here. Um, and to the same pot, I added some yellow onions, some red onions, some fresh thyme. And I think that was it. I'm going to add some green onions. So I'm going to let this kind of let the uh, onions become translucent for a little bit. Okay, so to the pot, I basically to the pot. So to the pot, I added the yellow potatoes, a little brown sugar, some curry powder, uh, green onions, and green peppers. So I'm going to let this kind of cook down a little bit, and I'm going to add the uh, oh, actually added some um, nothing what is that? better than bouillon vegetable and chicken. Um, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of yeah. Hey, you guys. So it's about 12.38. I'm just now sitting down for lunch. Again, I'm charged tonight. So I'm kind of like the everything girl, the errand girl, just everything. Um... It's been an okay shift. I'm kind of used to the madness, but it's been pretty much okay and chill. This is night two of three, so I have one more night tomorrow. Tonight, I don't know. I look like I may get caught off, but <clears throat> we shall see. Um, I guess the thing that I want to share is about when you're charged nurse. I know a lot of people look at that amount of patients and say, well, charged nurse doesn't really have anything to do. And I say this all the time, but like when you're charged, you really do have to be helpful to others because nurses are drowning and it's not your time to just sit there and chill. You have to take initiative and find out if they need help and just be the go-to person. But also you have to have the character and the demeanor to actually deal with all different types of personnel. Okay, so I haven't picked up my camera since yesterday at work. Um, I haven't had much to show you guys. First day at work. 
show you guys the first day at work this week i actually what did i do i was training and i had nothing to do because the person i was training had all my patients so i had nothing to show you guys i was just doing continuing education and helping out um the second day i was charged and training so i was just running errands for everyone and still had a scope and training and then yesterday when i got off work or today actually this morning i actually took the charge nurse phone home i all got all the way home for my manager to call me and i had to go all the way back and i don't know which of y'all i don't know if any of y'all work night shift but when you work nights and you get off work you are tired and driving are you tired is not good so i made it home i thought i would get called off tonight but i did not so i'm here and i'm glad because i want all my money it's my last night until monday of next week and then i'll do another three but so far today has been just a little challenging um my patients are not bad it's just a lot going on i'm realizing I realize that a lot of times I'm going to physically go in and do my assessment before a nurse gives me their handoff report because I'm going to check IVs. I want to check everything, but I feel like it's wrong. But it's like I hate when it's just kind of leave me with things you know all shift were not right, right? And that's kind of basically what I've been dealing with. And I don't want to be that nurse that does the same thing to the next nurse when I have time to do it, right? And this is a person's life that we're talking about. So I've been doing IVs, um, doing labs, and all that kind of jazz. But I'm getting through it. This is what I signed up for when I went to school. And at the end of the day, um, people actually will get well because of the job that I do. And um, they will stay well. And I will get paid, which is what I'm here for. So, yeah.